Hello guys, welcome back to a new tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these brushes that are in the shape of logos. So like, I've got each one set out here. I've got the Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and so on. You can do sponsors like Control Freak, Scuff. Uh, I've also got a, a Gatto and Astro here. You can do any kind of logo you want. You can make any shape. It doesn't have to be a logo. But yeah, uh, I've been asked this question so many times on um, on uh, on stream. So yeah, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do it. So basically, all you, what what you want to do is you're going to make a new project. So you go to File, New, and make sure the width is 200 and the height is also 200. Uh, you can follow these other details as well, but I think they all should be the same anyway. So yeah, just make sure the width and height is 200 by 200 and just press OK. OK, so now we're going to open our logo. So you can just literally get a logo from Google. It doesn't have to be the same one that I'm using. So I'm just going to do the phase logo because I haven't actually done that yet. So now that you've opened that, all you want to do is click on the, on the project and drag into the 200 by 200 project and then just resize it so it's the right size. There we go. It's so just making it so it fits perfectly in the new project that is 200 by 200. Okay, now that we've done that, it can't be red, for example. So like, it needs to be black. So what you want to do is you want to double click on the layer. Uh, go to color overlay and just make sure it's black. If it's not black, then it won't work. It will turn out some other grayscale um, color anyway. So yeah, you won't be able to get the color you want. So you might as well just pick black. And then all you need to do now is go to edit, define brush preset, and just just give it a name. Let's call it phase. And that is literally it. So now you've done that, um, you can just make a new layer and just go to your brush tool and you can literally just use it now you can resize it and you can do all that kind of stuff all, all the stuff you normally would normally do and all the basically the reason why I get asked this question so so often is because it's just it makes it so much easier than having to go to your file open and go find the uh, find the logo and it's just so much easier just to have it as a brush and yeah so you guys I hope you found this tutorial helpful please leave a like if you did and um, yeah thank you for watching and I'll see you guys